Welcome back to the channel everyone and we are here with Daniel Peck once again. Uh, he topped 32 the Oceanic Championship that happened this weekend. Uh, he'll go through his deck and explain uh, what he played and how he did and we'll take it from there. I decided to play Labyrinth for this event after playing literally every deck in the format for weeks and then eventually being convinced by Bowden, Yuri, and Lincoln to play the same deck as them. Uh, so most of the shout-outs for the deck building goes to them. And then I just tagged along. Uh, three, Ariana. Uh, it's the best normal summon it, you just want to be able to play. Two, Lady. This could probably be three if you were expecting a lot of mirrors, but I wasn't really expecting enough minute mirrors, so I only played two. Ended up losing to a mirror in top 32, so maybe I should have played three, but here we are. Uh, one lovely... And then just the normal lineup of all the furnitures. Uh, yeah, these cards were okay. They were really good when you went first. They were really bad when I went second. So not much else to say. Uh, all six of the welcomes. You could potentially cut down on this by one, but it's also just really nice to see because then you can play. And then just the one fill spell. I thought it was fine to still play this, even though it's kind of a brick going second. Just because it's really strong going first and in the mirror it's like really good if you have this and they don't uh just the three pots just says pot of greed my extra egg doesn't matter and then for going second we just decided to main the wing dragon of ross fimo it, it kind of conflicts with the fact you have three ariana but also not really because you can just furniture ditch the other one or if they don't end on three monsters you just furniture ditch this like it doesn't really matter this card's just Clears all the boards that we can't deal with with traps, so it was really good. Every, pretty much every sprite matchup I had this in, I immediately won by just getting rid of their board and setting a flood. Speaking of floods, three skill drain, three goes in, three rivalry. Uh, we just decided to main all nine floodgates because, yeah, this one's kind of dead in some matchups, but there's also a lot of spots in those matchups where you can just flip it and then they're stuck and they can't really get out of it. And you just need to slow the game down with this deck so that you don't get blown out because you're playing traps. Uh, speaking of stopping them from blowing us out, it's on strike. I don't want to get Ash, I don't want to get Belled. But this stops that. I think it was better than Gamma. They were on Gamma. We were on Gamma for a little bit, but this was a lot better for me. Stops special summons of like wind monsters too. And then the one of traps eradicator. Yep, this card does what it does. And overroot. Um this could have been any other normal trap that you like, but I think this one's the best one. That's the main deck, 40 cards. I don't think I would change much, unless I wanted to play trap version next. Uh, extra deck, a lot of these cards do not matter. I made about five of them during the tournament. Lingaribo for Ibley, it came up. Muckcracker, this is one of the only cards in the extra deck that comes up pretty much every game. Well, maybe not every game, but a lot of them. The other card that comes up, Chaos Angel. These cards are really strong. And then Exiton. Uh, we play Super Poly in the side deck, so the idea was you could Super Poly into Mud Dragon and then summon Ariana and then Exiton them. Never came up, but it's nice to have. Uh, M7. Uh, the idea was that you side Bissules, and this can be really strong if you put two Bissules or Bissule and a Grewer into this and then add back an Ash or. Bounce something from Grave and then attack Meg Zeus. Uh, Dean put on two eights and send a card Meg Zeus. Zeus. Never summoned any of these XE's monsters during the tournament. And then Super Poly targets. Mud Dragon came up a couple times. Garua came up. I uh, didn't miss any Math Mech, but this card is for the Math Mech decks. Never, never summoned it. Theoretically, you could also like. Summon it if your opponent ends on like IP plus a link in Super Bowl for this, but never happened. Uh, Barlow Furious, it's really strong, never summoned it. Starving Venom, really strong, did summon it. And then Duke for the uh, the Runic Fur and the, not the Runic Fur, the uh, Evil Twin deck. But yeah, never summoned most of those uh, tokens. Side deck. Three Ash Blossom. 
Uh, we wanted this for branded, we wanted this for mirror, we wanted this over like rivalry or stuff like that, interdex that that card was bad into. Uh, four Bestials, three Magnum of Wondrous, for branded, for mirror, for Dragon Link, for, for a lot of things. These cards are just always good. Uh, three Super Poly, as I mentioned. This card was really strong every time I saw it. It was never. It was pretty much never dead. It it can kind of conflict with Welcome Labs. It can lock you into fiends, and then you can't use this. But if you're playing your deck properly, you probably have already used this. And if you've drawn a lady, you can just furniture send it. It's fine. Uh, one call by. I don't want to get Ashen Belled. Uh, we started the two other Eradicators. I want to FTK my opponent. Uh, full Force. This comes in versus. Like Vanquish Soul versus all the sprite decks. It's okay. Deck Devi is like the other option, but I think this is this hits more decks because you can hit Vanquish. And then just D Barrier for Pearly, for Branded, for you know, decks that want to synchro, Xyz, etc. That was the deck. Excellent. Uh, shout outs now before I ask you any questions. Yeah, so just mainly, like I said earlier, to Lincoln, Bowden, and Yuri. They pretty much made the deck, and I took their deck and topped with it. Uh, unfortunately, none of them topped as well, but it is what it is. Uh, also, shout outs to all the game plan boys and to Guo for eradicating him, and he had six monsters in his hand in round seven. Uh, yep, that's about it. Shout out to the Perth boys as well, who stayed with me. It was a good time. Excellent. Um, what was the hardest matchup? Uh, my hardest matchup was Pearly, because they made me start and open Lightning Storm two games in a row. So that made that was difficult, but that was my only loss in Swiss. And then the Labyrinth Mirror and Top 32 was just a little harder, because I only played two Lady and they played three. But other than that, it was pretty smooth tournament. Fifth, fifth after Swiss, and then Top 32 loss. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank and you. did you know you were getting another Verse Dragon for Top 32? No, I found out that morning. Thank God. Yeah, very nice. Uh, it's this one here. Mm. Yes. Yes, very nice. Yes. Congratulations, and thank you, thank you again for the deck profile. Uh, we'll probably see you here again at the next premiere event. Hopefully. Yes. Thank you.